It was here at the Arecibo Radio Telescope in Puerto Rico that astronomers pulsed out the first cosmic telegram announcing our presence to the universe. On this day in 1974, the world's most powerful transmitter was turned far beyond our galaxy toward that part of the universe called the waterhole, a place where scientists believe there may be oxygen and hydrogen and therefore extraterrestrial life may exist. The messages encoded in ones and zeros used in the binary mathematical language of computers. And it translates like this. Across the top, a counting lesson, the numbers 1 through 10. Then, centered below, the atomic numbers of hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, and other essential elements of life on Earth. Next come the components of the double helical structure of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, the all-important molecule that contains the genetic instructions for all life on Earth. And the result of all this chemistry, the human being, the sentient creature who sends the message shown standing on the third planet from our sun. Finally comes the code for the Arecibo telescope that transmitted the message along with the telescope's diameter. Five hours and 20 minutes later, the message, traveling at the speed of light, had zoomed past the outermost planets of our solar system. It has now traveled exactly eight light years from Earth and has already passed the star closest to our sun. The message was devised and transmitted by astronomer Dr. Frank Drake of Cornell University. We did send a message which was encoded uh, particularly for the benefit and information of the extraterrestrials rather than ourselves. Uh, that message was sent in 1974. The direction in which we sent it is such that it will not arrive at its destination for 25,000 years, so we should not expect an answer for perhaps 50,000 years. There is uh, abundant evidence that there should be, must be life in the universe. Everything we know about Earth, the life of Earth, our solar system, and even ourselves says that we are not in any way a freak event in the history of the universe, but rather what one might expect. Everything is average. We sh should be commonplace, and life should be too. Anyway, if our to whom it may concern message to the stars ever gets through, it will probably be the cheapest exercise in communications ever undertaken. The entire cost of the electricity that pulsed through the Arecibo telescope was about one dollar. So at those rates, I guess we can afford to say to anyone out there who ever wants to reach us, don't hesitate to call, collect. Kevin Sanders, CNN, Science Report. <laughs>